PMP Certification Exam Prep Solving for EV When preparing for the PMP Certification Exam, it's standard practice to memorize several mathematical formulas, including formulas for cost and schedule variance, CV and SV, plus cost and schedule performance index, CPI and SPI. You can see the formulas listed on the screen. But what do you do when the exam question provides the values for CV, AC, CPI, or SPI and requires you to solve for EV? The format of the equations lead us to believe that the value of EV will be provided in the test question, and all we need to do is solve for CV, SV, CPI, and SBI. But it doesn't always work that way. When the test question requires you to calculate EV, it can cause some anxiety. We know that we need to apply some elementary math knowledge to reformat the equation in order to calculate EV, but this simple twist of logic can slow down and fluster many test takers who are a little rusty with some of their arithmetic. Rather than turn this into a math lesson, we'll show you some simple tricks to quickly reformat the equation and solve for EV. For the variance formulas, cost variance and schedule variance, begin by swapping the first two variables around and then replace the minus sign with a plus sign. And this gives you the reformatted equation. Do the same for schedule variance. For the performance index formulas, CPI and SPI, do the same thing. Swap the first two variables, but this time replace the divide sign with a multiply sign to get the result. Before you start the exam, when you're doing your brain dump and writing down all the equations you committed to memory, just write the alternate formulas to the right of the original formulas. When you encounter a question that requires you to solve for EV, you merely refer to the list of formulas and identify which EV formula you need to apply. That's it. Hope this helps. Good luck.